so we're doing uh, how to process no-shows. So you are going to log in the way that you log in. Um, you click a different button. I think you do Employee Information Center. I do Campus Key. And then you log in. Hopefully with the correct password. There we go. Okay, so what you're going to click next is you'll click Info Centers and you'll click Instructor Information Center and then you'll click the class. So this is the class that I'm going to be doing, the DE39, so that's the one I click. And so when I click it, you'll see that it has turned gray, that means I've accessed it. So the way that I do any business with that class is I click on Course Administration and there you see No Shows. So I'm going to click on No Shows. You'll see that I don't have any No Shows because if I had a no-show, it's going to appear in this side over here. It would say, um, put as a no-show. So I don't have any no-shows. So since I don't, I can just hit cancel and I'll, I'll be, be done with it. There's nothing to do if you do not have a no-show. Now, if you don't have a no-show, you can click the word no-show out beside their name and it's going to take them out of the class and it's like they never attended it. So... Um, it's going to immediately drop them from the role uh, if you don't have a no-show. So you might want to check with your counselor first to make sure that you know that student's not coming, um, because once you hit that no-show, they're taken out of your class. But again, if you're like me, you don't see any no-shows written beside their names, then you're all set. You can just hit cancel, and you'll be done with it.